What inspires this man? shipped to us from Super Ride, Super Ride Unicycle. This is a electric unicycle. So let's open it up. Hope you enjoy the S1000. This thing is a beast and can't wait to see you master this thing. It's not a brake lever, it's a balance lever. Don't pull on it unless you want to lean back immediately. I try not to look at the instructions, but I can't seem to find the on switch. Power button is in the back of the scooter underneath the seat and the battery. Give it some speed, open her up. Thanks to SuperRide for giving us this awesome unicycle. And as a thanks to our viewers, you can use the code HACKSMITH to get $100 off the S1000 electric unicycle. Link in the description below. Hey, the man just make his iced coffee in peace. <laughs> Got handlebars, but unlike a bike, you can't, you can't steer the same way. So you're used to riding a bicycle, and then that makes it kind of like weird because it's sick. I think that's, that's probably the biggest learning curve. The trick is to steer with your hips, and you're literally just holding onto these for the rest. And the other disconcerting part is there is no brake. Like if you're going fast and you start a wobble, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody got hit in the head today. Okay, so I told Will, the owner of Pursuit OCR, about JT's little accident. He told me to bring a truck back so he could bring some crash mats. I said, no, I got a stinger. It's a great work vehicle. Oh yeah, no problem. Why? Why are you like this? You have a truck. You can take the in truck. Yeah, but I was there yesterday. This is a 10 by 20 foot, four foot thick inflatable crash mat. It's the second one. Why are you like this? What inspires this man? Well, he's gonna he's gonna tell me to clean his car after this. He's gonna tell me to clean up. Did you clean all the dirt out of my car? that I put there, and I'll say yes. <laughs> See, it's like a bouncy castle, yeah. We're just here to watch. I guess we'll inflate one later today. Now. All right, now what? Inflating montage. <laughs> All right, turn around.
All right, I'll do a front flip. I'll show you how it's done. I don't trust myself. Big thanks to Will and all the staff at Pursuit OCR. It's a massive obstacle course in Toronto with Ninja Warrior obstacles, a giant ball pit, a whole drift trike course, and so much more. If you want to check out Pursuit OCR, check out the link in the description below. Alright, so I'm back from my concussion, and right before I left, because I had to take a few days off because my head hurt so much, uh, Ryan was here and he wanted to start the Star Trek Batlaths and Mechlaths. So we started that with him and now that I'm back, we're gonna finish those up. We're gonna get them ground, painted, everything's gonna be real, real slick. Very aggressively. There we go. That's called a mech, mech left, I think. What's this one called? That's called a piece of steel. That is a, another piece of steel. Oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> hey, there it goes. Okay, go, take it. Alright, so for this, the next step is we get muriatic acid on here, we get all this mill scale off and it's ready for painting. And in efforts to protect myself, Tyler's what going to be doing it, but with proper protection. What'd you do to it? Uh, I think I spun. We should probably give it some grip tape now. Keep it looking pretty freaking sweet. Now all I have to do, make it nice and sharp. Alright, so now that that left's done. Sweet, go right ahead. Alright, so since Tyler put up such a disappointing performance, I'll have to show him how it's done properly. <laughs> 